CrowdStrike goes beyond traditional endpoint protection by providing extensive visibility and remediation capabilities across multiple platforms, such as Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. In this demonstration, we will take a look at the capabilities of detecting malicious behaviors within containers on a Linux system and the ability to remotely remediate affected containers that are showing the signs of a breach. Containers today are the cornerstone of many enterprise cloud strategies, but traditional security tools do not have visibility into container workloads. The new attack surface can introduce new risks to organizations. With CrowdStrike, all it takes is an easy-to-deploy, lightweight Falcon agent to be able to protect both the host system and any containers running on top of it. Falcon Insight provides real-time visibility even for processes executed within the context of the container and enables security teams to quickly identify threats and perform remediation actions. Now, let's take a look at this in action. Here we have the Activity Dashboard, which provides an overview of our security status. What we're going to focus on today is one of our most recent detections. We'll pivot into details of our latest detection with a single click. Looking at the details, we can see that this detection is of a malicious bash script attempting to gain credential access by dumping credentials. When we scroll down, we can see additional information such as the actual command line that was executed. Since we can see that this has a container ID, we can tell that this is actually running in a container. Let's trace the genealogy of this process and find the container root. While we move up the process trace, we'll take a peek at the other processes and make note of the process ID. We'll see why in just a bit. So here we have 2135 and 2086. Okay, here's the Docker container root, which is indicated by the blue box icon. When we click on it, it will provide us details and we can expand the command line. We can also see additional information such as the host name and container ID. Since we're confident that there's an issue with this container, let's prepare to remediate this detection. First, let's note the container's process ID. This will allow us to identify which container we will need to remediate, 2045. Next, we'll use real-time response to connect to the Linux host. This allows us to control the remote system directly and perform commands on the host. Right after we're connected, it'll display a list of commands available that shows what capabilities are available to us. The two commands that we are interested in right now are the ps and kill commands. To find out what they do, we can just type help followed by the command. So help ps will show that ps will display process information. When we type ps to list the processes, here's the docker shim that is running the container, as well as its process ID. Sure enough, the process ID matches up with the process ID that we had identified earlier in the Falcon console. We can also see two process IDs that were associated with the bash commands running in the container as well. Next, let's type help kill. That will show us how to use the kill command, and it looks like we just need to type kill and the process ID. We'll execute the kill command with 2045, the process ID of the container. After we send the kill command, let's run ps again. Not only did it kill the container process, but it also killed the two bash commands as well. As we can see, CrowdStrike provides powerful visibility and detection capabilities not only on the host system, but into any containers on that system as well. And in addition to identifying those hidden threats, CrowdStrike also has the ability to remotely remediate them with real-time response.